Plus 12 Cooperative Gallery in Jerusalem. My uncles, my old uncles, came to see the gallery when we opened it and they said, oh, do you remember it? It's the place where the curtains uh, used to be. Yeah, I remember the shop. It was 50 years ago. This is the original floor and when we opened the gallery we thought about well it's too dirty let's change it and I think uh, it can't be changed it's so beautiful and you see the, the time I really love places that, in which you can see the time that passed you can see what happened like stains in a in a, an old book like it's it's, it has a story, and I feel it's one of the story uh, this this uh, um, space has to show. Also, the area that this gallery sits in, the middle of the city, very close to the market. It's not a gallery area. It's a very very common and uh, close to the people. Sometimes people from the market are uh, coming up with their uh, bags and uh, they look and they just uh, have, they have 10 minutes in which they have time to come and see something else, something uh, for their spirits. It's, it's lovely to be part of this scene, of the reviving of the city. Something is very interlaced in this area. I find it very inspiring to have everything together, everything is mixed, the contrasts make things more uh, vivid. You have Hasidic Jews that comes here to visit the gallery. In, you know, in some places they wouldn't be able to come in. And here, because it's so nearby, because it's in the area, because it's in between, they would just come up. Many of my friends are uh, living in uh, Tel Aviv. I was on my way to Tel Aviv and I already had an apartment there. And then on the last second, I said, no, I'm, I'm staying in Jerusalem. And being here and opening a gallery here is a kind of a vision. Something like a kibbutz, something like from the history of Israel, the people in groups came and built something together for one major ideal. We're not exhibiting outside what we're working on. We're giving it to our city. The gallery gave hope to many people. When I told one of the curators I know we're opening a cooperative gallery in Jerusalem, she was relieved. She, she lives in Jerusalem and she said, oh, I waited for this minute so, so long. It's, it's like uh, being a, a like a tzalyanim, a crusader. Like, yeah, in, in a like way. Like being crusaders of art. I just uh, followed my heart and started photographing in Jerusalem a series about uh, the place that uh, I was born in and that I grew up in. The name of it is Bittersweet Jerusalem. I just uh, went around with the camera in Jerusalem for uh, two or three years and I felt the city is uh, entering inside my skin. It's very bitter and, and it's very hard for me to live in. And even though it's so bitter, it's also sweet and full of good memories. My father was born in Germany after the, after the Second World War. And my mother's family came from uh, Iran by foot. They walked uh, their way to uh, Jerusalem. And it's in me. My history is in me, so the Holocaust is inside. The bombs are inside, this air is inside. The history is sometimes you can feel it on your shoulders. It's not a fun, light, jumpy city. It's heavy, it's old. And uh, being here uh, connects you to the ground. This heaviness and this uh, conflict and this, the places where it hurts, that's much more similar to me, to my inner self. And uh, I, I work from there. There is something here in the air that, uh, I don't know, I need this air, I need it. This is the place I want to breathe in.